Hello, everyone. And we got today that round five of Classic Swax versus Repack Swax. We got the heavyweight championship of the world of repackaged wax cards. So, as you know, uh, Classic Swax is up three rounds to one. So if Rebex Wax wants to make a game out of this, they got to come up big time today. So let's see if they can pull it off. Or is Classic Swags going to win it? And round six is just going to be for fun. So let's see which one of these two is going to win this week for round five. But first, we got to pick the last week's winner with George, 1982 Tops George Brett there that I decided to give away. And I'm going to get that nice little 10-pack there. So let's see from your comments who is going to come away with that. So there we go. We are up on the screen. At least I think so. There we go. And here we go. How many comments do we got? And we got 14 comments. So, man, less and less people are commenting on this, man. Oh, you guys don't want the cards, apparently. So here we go. Good luck, everyone. Round and round she goes. Who's going to be this week? Who's going to be this week? It's going to be Bill Fowler. Too bad about the 74. I like that set. No one knows Von Hazes. That's right. No one knows Von Hazes, Bill. But you are going to get that 10 pack there with a 1982 George Brett. So, congratulations, Bill Fowler. So, all you have to do is leave me your address from my email so you got to send an email to my email address right here it's showing up right now so congratulations bill fowler oh you win that 10 pack and let's see what pack number we are going to choose this week so let's give it a quick shuffle and let's give it a spin and right around she goes which pack number is it going to be this week what number? And we're slowing down. Is it going to be 12 or 10? 12 or 10? 12 or 10? It looks like it's going to be number 10. So every 10th card pulled from here is going to go to the winner. And if you want to win this week's, all you got to do is leave that comment. Come on, let's see those comments, man. Oh, we got last was only 14, so we got to get more than that. So here we go. We got them both up. So we're going to go repacks Max first since they lost the last round. So, uh, is everyone ready? So let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, there we go. There's repacks Max. We're going to start them off first. There are the packs. Oh, we're only down to six. Only two more rounds left. Can repacks come away with a win this week and stay in the game? Or is just classic swags going to take this? And man, this is really waxed this time. So there we go. And here we go. Let's see what we get. Oh, I'm going to start it off here. And boom. We're going to start off with a 1981 Fleer of Dick Rufkin. Oh, the Philadelphia Phillies. So very nice card there. Uh, up next, we got Bad Boy Jack Morris on 1992 tops from the Minnesota Twins. And after that, we got uh, Sam McDowell of those 2004 uh, New York Yankees classics. So there he is, Sam McDowell of the Yankees. Let's show the back of that one. All right, nice. Um, next, we got our first uh, vintage card. We got 1974 Larry Gira. Oh, the Chicago Cubs. Get my Cubs love there. There it is. We got Larry Gira. So, a very nice card there. And uh, it's actually in pretty decent shape. So, we will take that. And after that, we got Kevin Seitzer there on a 1989 upper deck from the Kansas City Royals. And let's see what we get here. After that, we got another 1992 Bowman. Oh, Pat Kelly from the New York Yankees. So we're getting a lot of Yankees in this pack, that's for sure. After that, we got from 1982 Fleer, we got Jamie uh, Easterly of uh, the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. So very nice card there. And after that, we got Tom uh, Nina Fewer of the Baltimore Orioles. So 1988 Fleer. And after that, we got Frank Viola there on the 1984 top second year card of Frank Viola of the Minnesota Twins. All right, that's card 
uh, two, four, six, eight. That's card number nine. So the next card is going to be the winner. So let's see what's going to be. What's going to be that winner card? And it's going to be 1982 Dunras of John Denny of the Cleveland Indians. So you're going to get that card. So a little, be a little before uh, Junk Wax. So very nice. 1982 Dunras of John Denny. So we're going to set that right there to the winner pile. After that, we got 1992 Dunras of Carl Willis of the Minnesota Twins. We got uh, Louis Agario of the Philadelphia Phillies on the 87 tops. Uh, we got Mike Flanagan there and a nice 1985 Dunras there. So very nice card from the Baltimore Orioles. And after that, we got Jody Davis from the Cubs. Get my Cubs love there on a 86 Fleer. And we got Mike Perez on a 1991 upper deck from the St. Louis Cardinals. And that is the last card. So, all right. So, Rebacks Wax is kind of sputtering out the gates once again. Only one card from the 70s. So, what are you going to do? I'll oh, set that right there. Move that over a little bit. Get some room there for everyone. So, bring that up. Uh, you can see all card goodness. So, let's get that second pack ro rolling here. And let's see if they could come out with a winner. So here we go. And here comes that first card. Boom! We're going to get a 1988 Fleer of George Fraser from the Minnesota Twins. Uh, we will take that. After that, we got 1987 Dunras of Jeff Reardon on the Montreal Expos. After that, we got Richie Zist on those 1992 Dunras Diamond Kings. So that's a very nice card. We'll take that. So after that, we got Mike Balker of the Boston Red Sox. So 1989 tops there. After that, very nice. We're going to get our first uh, 60s card there. We're going to get the Chicago White Sox team card there. So very nice. Uh, there is the back. It looks like it's a little beat up. Oh, it's got some little ickiness going on there. But still, 496. It's kind of a higher number card. So... There it is. It's a Chicago White Sox team card. So, oh, an icky back. That corner's a little soft. Not too bad of a card. So, that, as you know, that is double points. That's how we do it. Double points for the cards of the 60s and my PC hits. And triple points for the 50s. So, there is another nice vintage card right there. And that was card number five. So, here comes card number six. And we got Raphael uh, Dubbers of the... That looks like one of the newer ones there. Boston Red Sox. So there it is. Yep, 2020 Dunruss. Panini Dunruss. So there he is. That's a newer one. And then I got Todd Worrell of the St. Louis Cardinals. 1990 Dunruss. And then we got the Dream Team there. That looks like Tony Gwynn hitting the ball as he always did. Uh, yep, there it is. So, very nice. Trying to see what year that is. And I don't see it, but there's a lot of fingerprints on that thing. Holy cow. Someone with a uh, greasy chicken finger <laughs> fingers, hands there. Got it all uh, uh, beat up there. So, what are you going to do? That is Tony Gwynn of oh, the San Diego Padres. I think that's 92, I want to assume. I don't have, a, I don't see a year on it, so I'll have to look that up. Uh, yeah, it's all in black, so I can't see what year it is. So, what are you going to do? We're going to take that, because I don't think I have that one, so we'll add it to our collection. Oh, there it is. Oh, after that, we got... Oh, Joe there. We got Howard Johnson from the Tigers. Got my Tigers love there. Out of 85 tops. So get some Hojo love. So very nice card there. And that is card number nine. So the next card is going to be the winner card. So here we go. And boom. You got Travis Wood from 2015. So you get some Cubs love there. So Travis Wood. Uh, there you go. 2015. Now, what are you going to do? Because the next one is from 1974. You got Tom Raglan of the Cleveland Indians. Oh, very nice card there. And then we got Buck Martinez there, the great announcer from the Milwaukee Brewers on a 1981 tops. After that, we got Larry Anderson of the Philadelphia Phillies on an 86 Fleer. And we got some more Fleer love. We got some Tigers love. We got Doug Bear. 
of the Tigers on 84 Fleer. Very nice. And that last card is going to be Mike Stanley from Collector's Choice. I believe that's 1996, 94. I'm off two years, so. All right, so they came back a little bit. Got another card from the 70s, another 74. We got that nice 64 there, so we'll take that. So that was pack number two. So let's see if they can come out the end there. So here comes Repacks Wax. Pack number three. And here we go. Man, this one is also very uh, waxy. Oh. Maybe it's just spend more money on the cards and the wax. You don't know. So here we go. Here comes pack number three. And boom. We're going to start off with Keith Miller on a 1992 Dunruss. Oh, very nice. After that, we got Dave LaPoint of the St. Louis Cardinals on an 83 Fleer. After that, we got Pete uh, Shorek of the New York Mets on a 1992 top. So... After that, we got Terry Fracona of the Cleveland Indians there out of 1989 Upper Deck. And after that is going to be more of those Yankees classics. We got Jack Clark. Uh, there he is, Jack Clark on those 2004 Upper Deck Yankee classics. And after that, we got Gary Gaetti on the 1991 Dunruss from the Minnesota Twins. And after that, we got Keith Moreland of the Chicago Cubs. My Cubs live. And 1984 Fleer. So we got some 84 Fleers, that's for sure. And after that, we got 1985 Dunruss. Oh, Carney Langsford. I'm the Oakland A's. So we're getting those mid 80 cards in this pack, that's for sure. Four, six, seven, eight. So that's their card eight. Card nine is Bill Gullickson on a 1988 Fleer. And the next card is going to be the winning card. So here we go. It is going to be. 1986 uh, tops there of Jerry Naron. So, California Angels. Uh, this is not being good for the winners, that is for sure. Um, what are you going to do? After that, we got from 1971, we got Rick Austin of the Cleveland Indians. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of chew marks in there, it looks like. So, what are you going to do? Number 41, that is a lower numbered, so 1971, tops of Rick Aston, or Austin, sorry, Austin. Uh, after that, we got Luis Gonzalez of the Houston Astros on 91 Fleer Ultra. And after that, we got Tom Hossman on 1981 Fleer from the New York Mets. Got Dave Bergman there on oh, the San Francisco Giants, 1982 Dunruss. And that last card's going to be... Uh, Alvaro Esponia. So there he is from the Minnesota Twins on 87 tops. So, all right, overall, it was average, I would say. Unfortunately, you didn't get many good winning cards, but you know what? I'll add something good. You know, I always try to do that. So, all right, so that was Rebex Wax. So. Unfortunately, I, I, I don't know. It'd be, it's it's going to be a close one, I think. All uh, right, maybe, let's see here. We got one from the 60s. We got, I think we ended up with three more from the 70s. So nothing that special in there. So we'll see what happens. So up next, we got Classic Wax. Yeah, let's see what they come up with here. Uh, we got three cards to go through. Uh, three packs. Let's see what we get here. Oh, here we go. And boom, we're going to start out with those moments again. We got Troy Percival of the California Angels. I don't know, I believe that's 896 Bowmans. If I recall, yes, they are 96 Bowmans. Oh, very nice. After that, we got uh, from the Cleveland Indians, we got uh, Fausto Camarna of the Cleveland Indians. That's his rookie card. I think that's 2006. So there it is, 2006. Oh, very nice. After that, we've got some good old Dale Murphy there from the Atlanta Braves on the 89 uh, Fleer. Uh, I'll take that. That has a little value. And we're going to get our first vintage card from 1976. We got Gary Thompson of oh, the San Francisco Giants. And it is in pretty good condition, if I do say so myself. So very nice. Slightly off centered, but we will take it. After that, we got Harold Baines on the 1988 Dunruss from the Chicago White Sox. 
Let me match that there. Glenn Allen Hill of the Toronto Blue Jays on those 1990 Tops Major League debuts. So, after that, boom, we get our first 60 cards of this one. We got Jose Santiago of the Boston Red Sox out of 1968. So, very nice card there. It is in good condition. So, we will take that all day long. Now, well, there is number 123, Jose Santiago. So, very nice card. So, they come back. Classic Mask comes back with a card from the 60s as well. So, very nice. Oh, that was card number seven. This is card number eight, uh, 1982 Fleer of Jim Rice. Some more Red Sox love for you guys. So, there he is. And after that, we got Tim Anderson on a 2021 Topps Heritage. Oh, very nice. That's going to have a little value. He's a pretty good player. So, 243. Oh, we'll add that to our collection. So, uh, yep. So, this one is number nine. So, here comes card number 10. So, you're going to get Charlie Hudson of the Philadelphia Phillies on a 1984 top. So, unfortunately, the 10th card is not yielding really much for you guys this time around. Oh, uh, very nice. You're going to get that card. After that, you get more Jet Bad Boy Jake Morris on a 1991 uh, leaf there of the Minnesota Twins. So very nice. After that, we got Paul Malter on a very off center 1981 Dunruss. So man, it's almost like cutting off the corner there. So very nice card of him. Still nonetheless. After that, we got. Uh, Kevin Ampier of the Kansas City Royals on a 1996, is it? I think it's 96, 96 Pinnacle. Oh, very nice card there. We'll take that. And after that, we got Roy Howell of the Toronto Blue Jays on 81 Fleer. And that last card is going to be Jim Let Letrix of the New York Yankees on a... 1994 top. So there it is. That's the last card. So not too bad. We got one from the 60s, one from the 70s. So they matched right away. So there is double points, as you know. So we'll take that aside. And let's set that right there. Oh, here comes pack number two. So here we go. We have pack. Two, if I can get it off the thing there, man, it's stuck this time. Oh, this one packed real well. It's almost have something good. So here we go. Boom, we got John Danny of the Philadelphia Phillies on the 1986 Tops. And up next, got 1976. So, second, it's another card from the 70s. Tim Johnson from the Milwaukee Brewers. So, in good shape as well. So, after that, we got, uh, Mighty Fine in 99. So, 1999 World Champions Clay Bellinger of the New York Yankees. There it is. That is going to be a Fleer Skybox. So, one of 40. So, that must be an insert of some sort. So, we'll probably show the price on that. No, there it is. It's an impact. So, very nice card. Something different, that's for sure. And after that, we got the Crime Dog, Fred McGriff. The Crime Dog. Take a bite out of crime. So, very nice card there. That should be an 87. Uh, yeah, tops traded. Yep, there it is. So, get a rookie card out of Fred McGriff. Up next, Bill. There we go. Get a 1959 of Billy Pierce. So, very nice. 1959 from the Chicago White Sox. So number 410, too. So that's a higher number card. So that's going to have some value. Uh, unfortunately, there is a little crease there. I think if I put in the light, you kind of see it right there. Uh, unfortunately, it has a little crease. But hey, what are you going to do? You're going to take that because that is 1959 Billy Pierce. So we'll take that all day long. And yeah, that is card number five. So here comes card number six. We got Matt Zachary there on an 85 toss for the LA Dodgers. After that, we got the washout there. Todd Van Poppel of the Oakland A's Island Stadium Club. I believe that's 94. Uh, yes. 
94 Stadium Club. I'm Todd Van Bobble. After that, we got Gary Carter from 1983 Tops. So, very nice card there. Oh, the Montreal Expos. After that, we got Hot Rookies from Score. We got Reggie Jefferson. I believe those are inserts. I may be wrong. Yep, card 10 of 10. So, that's going to be an insert card. So, we will take that. No, oh, next card should be the winning card. So two, four, six, eight, nine. Yep. So the next card is gonna be the winning card. So here it comes to you, and boom! You're gonna get some of my Cubs love there. You're gonna get Anthony Rizzo. So very nice. You're gonna get some Christmas love because I, I always get the Christmas cards, and this is no exception. So you're gonna get that one. You're gonna get Anthony Rizzo from the Cubs. Get my Cubs love there. So very nice. Oh, that's going to go to the winner. So congratulations on the Christmas card. So very nice. After that, we got 1988 Dennis. Oh, Willie Randolph. Uh, so is that, that is, uh, it might be one of those, uh, it's not an insert. Uh, it's probably from one of those uh, side events, like the All-Star card or something like that, but. There is William Randolph of oh, the New York Yankees. After that, we got Eddie Murray there on a oh 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 OPG OPG cards. Oh yeah, there it is. 1991 OPG of Eddie Murray from the LA Dodgers. So we will take that. After that, we got Tom Trollick of the Seattle Mariners on 81 Fleer. After that, we got Kurt McCaskill there on a 1994 Topps Gold. So you get another gold card. I love the gold cards. I'm uh, trying to make those sets. So very nice. Kurt McCaskill of 1994 Topps. And that last card is going to be uh, Cameron Smith of the Detroit Tigers. Got my Tigers love there on a 1996. 90, yep, 96 Bowman. So very nice. So I came up with a big boom there. 1959 Billy Pierce. So wow. That's going to take some uh, punches out of Rebax Wax with that triple point value there. So here comes the last pack of Classics Wax. Uh, I think I know who's going to pull away this one. And they are starting to big time. So here comes. Classics Wax. Boom! We're going to start out in 1977. Oh, Barry Foot. Oh, there he is. Barry Foot of the Montreal Expos. So we'll take that. After that, we got some Cal Ripken Jr. Love. So there he is. Oh, upper deck choice. Throwing the bat down. So he is the big Iron Man. That's why. Oh, 1999 UD Choice. So very nice card there. After that, we got. 1980, we got Junior Moore from the Chicago White Sox. So, very nice card there. And then I get some more Christmas love, and I get to keep that one. That's Calvin Biggio. So, that should be a 2020. And yes, it is. So, there it is. Calvin Biggio of the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. So, we got some more Christmas love. We'll take that all day long. After that, we're going to get a sticker card, a foily sticker of Wade Boggs. So very nice. Oh, that is going to be 1988. So Mark McGuire on the back, and we got Wade Boggs on the front. So that will probably have a little value. I guess I'll show the value of that one. Oh, very nice. So I get some sticker love. Oh, after that, got a very nice 1962 there of John DeMerit of the New York Mets. Oh, very nice card, and it is, uh, man, that corner's kind of beat up right there, but what are you going to do? You're going to take that because you don't have it. Card number four, so very low number card there. Number four, uh, there he is. That is going to be John DeMerit of the New York Mets. So that is card uh, number five, it looks like. Nope, oh, six. Card number six. Two, four. Yep, six. So here comes card seven. We got Frank Robinson there out of 1990. Uh, tops there for the Baltimore Orioles. Good old Frank Robinson. That's his manager card. And after that, we got uh, Manny Ramirez of the Chicago White Sox. Uh, I believe that's 2011. And it is 2011 of Manny Ramirez. 
So, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, here comes the ninth card. The ninth card is going to be Ron Ventura of the Chicago White Sox. A very nice red rookie, 1990, and it has some paper loss there, so that's not good. So that kind of sucks. Here comes the next card. It's going to go the winner. And boom, oh, no, you're going to get my Alan Trammell. So very nice. You are going to get a nice 1981 toss of Alan Trammell. That's a PC hit as well. So that will be double points. You're going to get that card. I'm not. Oh, you're going to get some nice 1981 action there of Alan Trammell. So that is a double point and a PC hit for you. Up uh, next, we got Andre the Hug Dawson on 1989 Upper Deck. Get some Cubs over there. You got to love the Cubs. Uh, after that, we got Mitchell Page of 1981 Fleer from the Oakland A's. Oops. After that, we got Bobby Witt from 1992 Stadium Club from the Texas Rangers. And after that, we got Mike uh, Burhart of the New York Mets on a 79. So very nice, 79 tops. And that last card is going to be Benito Santiago. Very nice. I think that's 92 Pinnacle. So there it is. Oh, yeah. Yes, 1992 Pinnacle of Benito Santiago. So that is it. So that was the three packs from Classic Wax. Yeah. So I got some editing up to do. We'll bring out the judges card here, and we will see who took round five. What do you guys think? You think it was... Uh, Good old uh, Classics Wax, or did Repacks Wax take it? So let's go to the judges card here and add all this up and see what the winners are going to be. So stay tuned. All right, we are back with the judges' decision. So we're going to start with the challenger this time. We're going to start with Repacks Wax there. So there's the highlights. So... This one came in at $14.90, back at low. So there were some good heavy hitters in here. There was a one from the 60s. They've got that very nice Chicago White Sox team card. So that one's very nice. So higher number card. I believe that was a back at low of $4. So, um... No, I'm sorry. It's Beckett Low of $5. So $5 for the Chicago White Sox from 1964. Very nice. It's not in bad shape. I know their back's a little rough, but we'll take it. Uh, there was three other cards from the 70s there. So there you go. One from 71, two from 74. And you are going to get these three cards in 2015. Tops of Travis Wood from the Cubs. You're going to get that... Uh, 1982 Denris of John Denny from the Cleveland Indians. And you're going to get uh, from the Angels, Jerry Naran of the California Angels from 1986 uh, tops. So those are going to be those three cards. And we're going to come in here with Classic Swags. And Classic Swags came with some heavy punches. So they came with a 1959 Billy Pierce. So a very nice 50s card there. So you know that's triple the point value. So there it is, number 410. It had a little crease in it, but other than that, it's pretty decent shape. Right there's a crease. Uh, that was Beckett Low of $4. So that was a triple point value. So four times three, it makes it $12. So very nice. Got a 1959 out of there. We also got two from the 60s. Uh, we got that very nice 1962 John Demerit. Oh, uh, and we also got that nice 1968 Jose Santiago from the Red Sox. So, and of course, we got some 70s as well so there are four 70s cards in uh, ones from classic wax versus three from the 70s in the repacks wax so that came in at 25 dollars and 81 cents so looks like we know who's gonna win it's going to be classic wax yeah uh, it won by $10.91. So, Classic Wax takes round of five. We're going to do one more round. I think we're going to know who's going to win this. And I will compare at the round of ends, uh, at the end of round six, 
I know someone said, well, Classics Wax is a little bit cheaper. Or, I'm sorry, Rebax Wax is a little bit cheaper than Classics Wax. So, so I'm going to do a bunch of comparisons here to show you what the total value was and profit per box and all that. So we'll give you all the statistics. But you're going to get... Also, from Classic Swags, you got three nice cards here. You got that very nice Alan Trama from 1981 Tops. Hey, that's going to be pulled from my PC collection. You're going to get that. I'm not. So, getting some Tigers love. Also, you can get this uh, Anthony Rizzo card from the Cubs. Getting the Cubs love. I think this might be a little bit more valuable because I think this might be the metallic version. I might be wrong. Someone can uh, clear me, but it's this is raised up you can feel the snowflakes actually and i know i got a christmas card from uh repacks wax and it doesn't have that and it was a 2020 as well so i don't know if it's a big difference or not but you're gonna get that card as well and of course you're gonna get 1984 tops of charlie hudson so you're gonna get that we're gonna throw some more cards in there for you i'll make sure there's something decent in there so you're gonna get that well, all you got to do to get this 10-pack is leave a comment on this video, and we will pull from next week's video. So uh, for round six, uh, we will do the same thing, and I will pull from a, a live stream. You don't have to be for the live stream, but uh, we will pull for that as well. So there it is. Round five went to Classics Wax, so we're up now four to one. So, yeah, I think Classic Wax is pulling away with this big time. Um, I mean, it's a big dollar difference. Uh, right now, Beckett Low for Classic Wax is $100.68, while uh, Repacks Wax, uh, right now, Beckett Low, total of all five rounds is $45.89. So, there it is. That's the tail of the tape. Let me know your thoughts. Did you like it? Didn't like it? Which card did you like? Did you like the 59? Did you like the White Sox team card? Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. So leave that comment so you can win these cards. And thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.